Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now those of you that follow the channel know that I'm a huge fan of a triple display setup like I have over here or even better displays if possible but the point is that uh, I do use it even for the simple tasks uh, nowadays and one quick example is uh, when I'm doing on the final of a semester for my students passing grades from one sheet to another data sheet I use at least a dual display setup and usually I've got my email or a browser on the third uh, display. So it's very uh, comfortable to use and so on and so forth. It has a lot of advantages and also disadvantages as I mentioned here on the channel. Now today we are going to, to, to see and uh, I'm going to share with you my info regarding another solution. But before we go, I would like to share that a few years ago, and I will show you some images on screen. I did test it out with my brother's MacBook Pro 15 inch late 2013, which had back then native support for a triple display setup with the NVIDIA GT 750M. And I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check that video if you want. Uh, and it worked great. Now, I also use on a daily basis my Mac Mini late 2012 with a triple display setup where two displays work great, but the third one uh, with a connection over USB uh, 3.0 to HDMI doesn't work so uh, so good we have a lot of drop frames so it works for what I need and I always have or either an email or something static here like the browser and so on and so forth but that's about it now uh, I also use the MacBook Pro 15, uh, 13 inch the same way and the results are the same and uh, of course my Windows computers with dedicated GPUs don't have any kind of problems uh, like the one that I've got under my desk displaying the image on these three displays. Now a triple display setup it's not necessary for everyone. I do honestly believe that uh, we need to be honest with ourselves regarding our type of work, our workflow and our needs in terms of this place. Now for those of you that are on the market for a solution for a dual or triple display setup, I do believe that this info is interesting and what we are going to do next is I'm going to share all the info that I've got regarding the test that I did on this solution here which is the pluggable uh, USB Type-C uh, triple display docking station which is a plug-and-play uh, device that we can use with computers such as this and that being said with this long intro let's go for it and I'll see you in a few seconds <laughs> We are back. Now before we go to the uh, triple display setup itself, let's take a quick look at the uh, docking station solution and for that as usual a very quick unboxing experience right on the screen so that you guys uh, can have a few seconds just to see um, the type of components that there are. Very simple but uh, you can see on screen. Now moving on to the connectivity guys instead of me explaining what it is uh, you can see a few images there on the back and also on the front of this docking station which in my opinion is really complete. It has a lot of connectivity including what we uh, mentioned the triple display setup. And one of the great features of using a docking station such as this one is that we only need to connect one cable to our laptop and then everything is connected to the docking station including the displays, mouse, whatever we need to connect and of course this docking station also charges the laptop while we are using which is uh, once again great because we only need one cable. Now moving to the usage of the docking station what I can say is that it's a plug and play device all I needed to do was to plug my laptop and then download the drivers for OS 10. I also did download for Windows but we will talk about that in just a few uh, seconds and once we install the drivers we just need to restart the computer and everything works great. And in terms of results what I can say is that there is no perfect solution probably with the exception of using a dedicated GPU like I have on my Windows computer with uh, dedicated outputs from the GPU itself to the displays then there's not much better than that on the market but when we are talking about a uh, docking station there is no perfect results. Nonetheless when I do compare this docking station which is USB 3.1 compared to my USB 
uh, USB 2 HDMI uh, connection, I do notice a huge difference on OS 10 and also on Windows. Now with OS 10, as you guys can see on screen by the images that I was showing, um, and I will have to shut up for a few seconds so that you guys can hear the sound as well. So the new the Volo Gigagate starter kit, when I thought that uh, since we moved to this new house, uh, I didn't have the chance to test out properly uh, the power line adapters that I've been using since uh, I lived with my parents, but for the last three or four years I've been using the, the Volo uh, TLN 1200 Wi-Fi SE with a uh, great and as you could see by the images and sound, we can use it uh, without any issues at all regarding videos and so on and so forth. There is no noticeable uh, frame dropping while doing this kind of uh, normal tasks uh, that we do every single day. Now, where do I do notice some differences is when I do uh, really fast movements and there I do notice uh, a really small frame dropping. So I would say that on OS X we can use it for everything, but I would avoid uh, using it for um, let's say a video editing software for example it's not the best result it's not bad we can work around but it's not uh, the best and of course forget about gaming uh, on OS 10 and also on Windows but I'll share with you a few images in just a few uh, seconds and talking about Windows, when we move to Windows, of course, on a bootcamp installation, I cannot share with you guys uh, a pure Windows computer uh, results, at least for now. If I have the chance, I will share later on with you. But what I can say is that it works as well as it works on OS 10, probably a little bit better on Windows than on OS 10. And we can do everything that we did on OS 10, watching movies, etc., etc. I don't notice uh, the frame dropping as much when I do uh, move around the objects really fast. Uh, of course, have in mind that my camera is not recording at the same frame rate, so you might watch a few images not so accurate with the results that I've got right over here. But I would say that we, we can do uh, almost everything with this setup, with the exception of gaming. And as you can see on screen, I did test out uh, Rocket League on all three displays on the different connections, and the results are not uh, enough for the gaming experience. Now we can use it, but it's not it's not uh, advisable. I would not suggest to purchase a, a device such as this one for gaming. And hopefully you can see on the camera, uh, on the images that are recorded on the camera, uh, that there is some frame dropping and there is some uh, screen tearing as well, which is not uh, very pleasant uh, to see. But with the exception of the games, everything that I did test out worked really, really well. So in conclusion guys, what I can say is that for this type of computer with a USB Type-C connection, the pluggable docking station is a great solution, especially for those of you that want a triple display setup or even a dual display setup with a lot of uh, connectivity. By the way, I forgot to mention that it has one output that goes up to 4K, which I did use on my main display right over here, and then has two other that go up to 2K. I forgot to mention that, but here it is. So this is it guys. In terms of results, it's not, it's not perfect, like a uh, connection directly from the GPU to the display, but for uh, our everyday tasks, uh, emails, browsing and so on and so forth, the experience is great, just gaming was not. And I do believe that this is not intended for gamers. For gamers, you will use a dedicated computer, uh, uh, at least this is my opinion. Guys, the video is going long, I'm going to shut up. Any question that you guys have, don't forget to leave down below. Hopefully you did enjoy the video, and if you did, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.